Hi, I don't know whether this uh, is going to work or not, but uh, here goes anyway. Well, today I wasn't going to go to the allotment. Um, it's Dad's birthday and I cooked him a nice roast dinner. And uh, and the weather, it was raining first thing, now it's, it's, it's just foggy. Um, but it turns out I've got an hour spare, so I've come down and what I'm hoping to do I bought some of these strawberries from Aldi yesterday now what we've got um, this particular one strawberry it's Cambridge favorite there's actually eight roots in here um, in fact what I will do I'll open it up and show you what they look like so I already potted some up from home at home and, uh, quite surprised at how how big the roots were. So here we are, let's have a look. And there we are, that's how they come. And as you can see there's a lot of roots on there. So what I've basically been doing um, well, I haven't got one next to me but I've got some big pots over there and uh, I fill those up, put these roots in and, um, and then I should grow them on um, and as they are as I know what they are then any runners and that, that come from these I can also label up properly whereas well you'll see whole trays fall behind me which I've got no label on and that's basically because they've come from our plot and they've been passed on from other people on the allotment and although they say they're Cambridge you can't rely on that and if I want to sell a few people may want to know may want a specific variety so uh, that's what I'm going to do and also having all these varieties I can then um, decide which is the best for my personal use or family use which is the sweetest um, that's the plan now whether that takes whether that actually happens um, is another matter um, now what else I've brought down today I've got some more strawberries here and these are the same ones that I think I brought up the other day golden yeah they are golden Alexandria um, these are, as you can see, I grew in cells for the purpose. Uh, last year it was a matter of growing things in cells and in trays and deciding which one worked best for me. Now those strawberries what I uh, transplanted the other day were in a tray and they were dead easy just to separate and they were fine. But on certain other um, vegetables and that, I found it's better to actually grow them in cells and then just pop them out. Uh, I don't know if you can see, just pop it out and, uh, and put it back into um, into its new pot or into the soil in the garden. Um, these are these are looking very good. I've got to take just take the dead stuff off, but I can already see um, new growth in the crowns. I don't know whether you can see. I'm not able to just see that one now. Um, but these will, yeah we've got some fresh there, these will make nice little plants. Uh, it's all new to me what, what these are all going to taste like so you know that's going to be interesting this year. Uh, it's really my first proper year with so many varieties and I think I'm up to somewhere around 22 or 23 different uh, strawberry plants now, strawberry varieties and up to about 1,250 plants, something like that. Um, so we'll have to see. Some of these, what you see at the back of me, um, well, well most I'm hoping to sell, uh, but I will also grow some on. I'll put them into bigger pots and uh, we'll have them dotted around. And I've got loads of buckets and loads of flower troughs and things back at home, dozens of them. So. The plan is that uh, a lot of my stuff I'm going to grow in pots up the allotment here so that it's off the ground. So if we have another year like last year, 
um, they're going to be at least a little bit protected. Um, I think that's it. Um, I'll continue a bit uh, a bit later. Probably I've had a bit on show you the plants what I've transplanted, or uh, I might just end it here. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.